One of the things I have to do when setting up a new assessment in Hazmat 3D, whether this is for flame, flammable gas, or toxic gas, is to define a assessment volume, or as we sometimes call it, an assessment shoebox. The significance of this volume is that only objects or spaces inside the volume will be assessed for coverage. There are two ways to do this in Hazmat 3D. In the first case, I can use my measuring tape tool, click at one corner of the assessment area, and click the opposite corner, and just take a measurement. And then I can look at my X1, my X2, my DX, DY, DZ, and I can manually enter those values into these boxes and that will define my assessment volume, with DZ just usually being how tall I want my bubbles or how tall I want my assessment area to be. The newer, easier, faster way to do this is to hit draw graphically, and then once again I click one corner, go over to the other side, and double click, and the computer automatically enters in the origin point and the extent. And if I forgot to change the height or offset when I was drawing my box and earlier, I can manually enter this now. Whether you measured it and entered manually or drew graphically, it's oftentimes useful to then go and check show assessment volume and hit save. And that lets me see this blue box, which represents my assessment volume in Hazmat 3D. And that lets me tell or assure myself that I got the box as tall as I want and then I'm capturing everything inside the volume that I want and maybe nothing inside the volume that I don't want. You can define the volume either before or after assigning grade bubbles. Oftentimes I will assign the volume after I've made my grade bubbles just because it lets me make sure that I'm getting all the bubbles and I'm not chopping off my bubbles. Alternatively, sometimes like on an offshore platform, you're going to have very well-defined, hard extents to your fire zones, and you can just define the shoebox to only include the fire zone that you are assessing.